When I was growing up as a kid, my parents owned their own home. They owned their own businesses, and that's all I've ever known. So not to own your own house seemed to be really an odd thing for me. So, and my children have seen that in my wife and I, that this was something to aspire to. So not having that seemed odd to them, which I think is a good thing because as they get older, they need to know that they can own their own home. We didn't come here expecting to be in our van. We weren't finding the work fast enough to replenish the money as it was running out. We literally wound up in our van yeah. with our family of 13, 11 children with no money, mm -hmm. the van with no heat when it's cold outside, the van with no air when it's hot outside, and just nothing literally. We had nowhere else to go. We literally went to everything around us to try and get work, alternating who was with the kids and, and who wasn't. And um, even at one point where, because we have no money, we didn't even have food. The longer it, it went on, you know, you get battle fatigue and it gets harder to be everybody's cheerleader and then feel like you need one yourself. And you know, you think, okay, six months of this is hard enough. But then when it was a year, Dallas Area Habitat gave us a strategy for how to move forward and get from our van and into a house. It made it practical, it made it real, you know, it made it a reality and something that we could attain. We felt like they were, I guess, kind of like a life coach mm -hmm. because they were coaching us through this really significant part of our lives and out of the van and into our home. And it was really confirming and affirming because we just felt like all the way what we were hearing more than anything is that you are not only getting up out of this pit, but you're staying out of it. Mm -hmm. And it was tough. It was tough to watch my wife. It was tough to watch my kids be cold. It was tough, you know, like I said, try to find a place to park them close enough to me so as I'm working, I can still be keeping my eye on them. My family is the precious, the most precious thing to me, second to the Lord. And you want to put them someplace that's precious. Knowing that we had a home took a... It was a huge relief. Knowing they had a place to stay. I didn't have to worry about them being cold. And these aren't sad tears, they're just joy tears. To know that, especially when I listen to them, sometimes they get aggravating with all the noise, but I just love hearing them play and express themselves and they're growing. Um, they're becoming just amazing individuals and it's because they have a place that's nurturing for them and it's been such a blessing for me to see that that i can leave and go to work and be like okay lord i know you've got them they're in their house they'll be fine they'll be warm and they're all doing the things they love to do whether it's art and, and, or just getting in the dirt and tearing up the grass and you know <laughs> just doing all the things that they want to do it's, it's, it's just a blessing to watch that happen it, it created a place for us to launch, and I always talk about to my children that they're our arrows, that we point into the future and release them. And Habitat has created a launch pad for us to stand firm and release those arrows into society. In these tough economic times, people do need to be in a position where they can own homes. Habitat gives them the opportunity to enjoy what I consider part of the American dream. You know, in other words, to me, it's part of what you can leave as a legacy. That's one of the beautiful things about owning a home. When we came, we got to sit on the porch and uh, thought and prayed every day and uh, asked God to bless me with this store wheel, and he did. wanted our children to always have a place to live and have a place to work. So 
it wasn't just for us, but it was more for them and their children. So we're just trying to build a legacy here. I'm actually the first one to own a house. It was beautiful. <laughs> just my house, somewhere that I can call my house, my place. We all want to help. Everybody wants to help. Everyone wants to see people succeed. And the beautiful thing about assisting Habitat or donating to Habitat, whether that's volunteering your time or your money, is that it takes that group of people who, like us, did not know Habitat exists and did not know they are just a, a bill away from having their home. So I believe that's something that the, the donors play a huge part in helping people get educated on the beauty of Habitat for Humanity and what it can do for so many people who are looking for that thing that will help raise them up, help bring their family up higher. And this is the place that does it, and it will do it. It was hard from the beginning. Um, work, kids, classes, and I did it.